This is for all the great, brave healthcare workers out there who are taking care of patients in this pandemic, whether you're taking care of COVID-19 patients, non-COVID-19 patients, cancer patients, immunocompromised patients. It's very important for the caregiver to understand that the mask they're wearing, whether it's providing them the shield that they're expecting it to provide. So let's go over it just to make sure that we all know that the mask that we're wearing, whether it's protecting whether it's doing the job it's supposed to do and protecting ourselves and uh, protecting our patients and protecting our families. So this is a surgical mask uh, or a procedural mask. This mask, when worn by a caregiver, it's going to protect the environment around the caregiver, protect the surgical site, protect the equipment around the, patient, uh, around the caregiver. If this is worn by a contagious patient, it's going to prevent the patient from contaminating uh, the environment around him. So this surgical mask is not going to prevent the wearer from catching any uh, airborne infectious agents. Uh, the, the fibers in this are too wide and the virus can easily pass through them. Uh, less alone they can pass, these are not fitted, so less alone they can just, you can just inhale from the sides and uh, from the chin here or up from the nose, it can pass, the viruses can pass through it. Let's talk about these. These are respirators. These are regulated by National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety. And the specialists who wear these on a, on a regular basis in isolation rooms or in, in other conditions that they need to wear this, they are tested annually for fit testing and they're trained how to make sure that this fits around their face completely. Uh, and uh, they're not uh, breathing from around the mask, through, uh, it, it, fits, it should be fitting well on, on, on the cheeks, on the nose, and around on the chin. Uh, same with this respirator. So this is an N95 disposable uh, respirator. Uh, N stands for, uh, and N is a class, there are three classes, N, R, and P. N is the uh, non-oil resistant. Uh, R class, if it says an R95, it would be a oil resistant up to eight hours. And if it says a P class, P95, uh, it would be a um, completely oil resistant, 100% uh, oil resistant. So this is an N95, 95 stands that uh, stands for that this, uh, this mask can filter up to 95% of the airborne uh, infectious agents up to the size of 0.3 micron. It's very important to know that. So this guarantees uh, a filtration, 95% filtration up to the size of 0.3 microns. These are single uses. Make sure they fit around your face, around your chin and around your nose. There's a little clip on it uh, around the nose. So push it down when you wear it and uh, it's a single wear, throw it after you wear it. It's, it's considered to be uh, contaminated from outside, so you shouldn't be t touching the outside of the mask uh, once uh, you have worn it one time, right? So uh, let's go to these respirators. These respirators, uh, some of the specialists uh, who work in isolation rooms uh, have this. You radiation therapy folks out there, the therapists that work in the mold rooms, in the lead rooms, they have these. This particular one has a P100 on it. The P class is the completely oil resistant. And when it says 100, it's filtering 100% of uh, the airborne uh, particles or viruses. Uh, it's filtering 100% of them. Uh, these are interchangeable. These provide a much higher efficiency uh, than these disposable. The, this, these reusable ones would provide uh, an efficiency of 99.97% which means it's going to filter 99.97% of the airborne infectious viruses particles up to the size of 0.3 microns. So what is 0.3 micron? So uh, what, what's the size of a virus? The size of a virus is 0.125 micron, half the size of what these masks guarantee to filter. So why are we expecting the viruses to get filtered? when these are guaranteeing only uh, up to a 0.3 micron, and the size of a virus is a 0.125 micron. So there are two reasons. First one, the viruses, they travel on a droplet. And the size of the droplet usually is a 0.5 micron to a three micron, larger than the, the guarantee these are providing you, right? So uh, they would, of course, get blocked. Uh, in the between uh, in the, when inhaled through a mask. 
Second, there's something scientific that happens when uh, for, for particles that are smaller than the size of uh, 0.3 micron, Brownian motion. So the particle, it actually starts uh, bouncing off the sides of the fluid instead of moving in a linear path. So the particle starts doing this. It starts bouncing off the si sides of the fluid and instead of moving into a linear path, it gets cut into the into the fibers uh, of the mask it's passing through so it's easier to catch uh, the viruses that are smaller than a 0.3 uh, micron that way either they're riding on a big droplet or either they're just uh, and definitely they're always doing their brownian motion so they they would definitely get caught in this mask the fibers are too wide they're not going to catch anything they're just these are just meant to catch big splashes if you have a screen of plastic on it um, or uh, this is, uh, or this is uh, going to prevent the person who's wearing from contaminating the environment around them. So again, these viruses, according to a lot of studies out there by National Institute of Health, there's, there are some publications in the PubMed, you guys can look it up, Google it, and they would come up. These are to prevent the environment from, from the person wearing it. These are to protect you. Make sure you have the right fitting around you. If, if, if you have a beard on your face, um, this is not going to provide you the filtration of a 95%. So it's not going to serve the purpose. Please stay safe. Uh, I know a lot of masks are not out there right now. It's, it's not a time to panic. If you do not have these N95s, they are in scars. You can't fight them. And you're wearing these surgical masks and taking care of patients. Take every precaution that you can take. Social distancing, you can't do while taking care of the patient, but still come up with ways in your area with the kind of work that you do uh, to, to uh, protect yourself the most you can. Wipe down after every patient. Uh, wash your hands after every patient. Second thing, the mask is not the only thing you're supposed to be wearing to protect against this virus. This goes through the facial mucuses, which would be uh, through the nose, through the mouth, and through the eyes. Wear your eye gear. Do not forget the eye gear at this time. Uh, eye gear and the mask together, at least on a minimum of an N95 to protect you from uh, the airborne infectious viruses or any viruses like a coronavirus. Stay safe, guys.